Hello and welcome to this tutorial on um, accessing grade rosters and class rosters. My name is Katie Morris and I'm one of the faculty with the social work department. So um, when you're logged into my UMBC, you can actually access your class schedule under the Topics tab and Faculty Center. There's a lot of helpful information within this tab, so you can certainly spend some time looking at that. Um, as a faculty member and an advisor, I have access to the Advising Center. This might not be something that's on your screen if you are um, primarily a um, teaching role. So um, there's a teaching schedule. There actually is also access to the academic dates and deadlines, which are really helpful in terms of knowing the start of classes, the first day of classes, the end of classes, the exam period, and certainly the add drop dates. Some other helpful information is located at the bottom of the screen if you scroll down, the academic integrity at UMBC, and the academic integrity um, conduct policy and reporting database. Um, as faculty members at UMBC, um, we are required to report um, any acts of academic misconduct that we see, and this database is an excellent, um, helpful way to do that in an, in an easy fashion. So clicking on this actually brings up the database and then you can enter um, the student's ID number and kind of the case situation. There's also contact information if you need help with that process. So um, let's go back up here to the teaching schedule. Clicking on that will bring up um, your teaching schedule. I'm currently teaching winter term, um, but you can see here you can click change term. And you can note kind of what other terms you want to access if you wanted to access your fall um, or perhaps spring schedule. Let's continue with here. By clicking on the little people here, you can actually access the class roster and see who's enrolled in the class. I'll go back to the fall term because that's completed and grades have been posted. And you'll see here there's the little people, which is, if you hover over it, the class roster. But there also is the little board with the person, and that's the grade roster. And so by going in there, that's where you're actually going to be submitting grades. It's all electronic, and it's a nice, easy feature to use. Um, grades have already been posted, so I won't be able to show you that um, with this particular video. Um, but by clicking on the tab, it'll access um, the student by name, and then you have a drop-down box, and under each student you can pick what you're giving them, A through F. Um, and then you can actually click up at the top, and you can do review status or um, complete. And so first, usually what I do is I enter all the grades, and then I click review, and then it just kind of puts them all um, without drop-down boxes after each student, and I review them and you can print them, and then I actually hit submit as though I've, that's the final grade. Grade rosters, um, I think, are really important too. It's important, and I'll go back again, to check um, the terms, dates, and deadlines. I always think it's helpful to know who's in the class, obviously the first few days of class, but also after add drop. Um, add drop, there is um, two periods of add drop. The first date is they can add drop without a W on their transcript, and that's usually about two weeks after classes start, or about a week and a half. And then there is the add drop date, which happens um, usually about a month before classes end, and that's the last day um, to withdraw from a class, but they will have a W on your record. So it's always helpful to kind of know at that date who's enrolled in your class. Getting out of this screen, it kind of by clicking on the sign out tab, it'll bring you back to the screen where you were at um, with your My UMBC. Some other helpful information, just so you know, under your name, you can certainly click on profile. That's where your um, access to your um, campus ID and library ID would also be located. That concludes this tutorial. Thank you so much and have a good day.